Tesla's latest chess move in the USA is frankly alarming and scary and awe-inspiring. All of those things all at once. And it may actually enable Tesla to take 50% of the United States market by 2030. And Tesla plans on selling 20 million electric vehicles per year in 2030. And that sounds utterly preposterous, to be honest. But actually, based on this news, it may be possible. And this is how they're actually going to do it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Honestly, this is a bit scary. This is a bit insane. This is a bit ludicrous. This is a bit... Well, for a long time, I haven't really believed Tesla. You know I'm an investor in Tesla stock. You know that I'm a fan of Tesla. But... I didn't really believe this idea that we're going to sell 20 million cars a year. I just thought that's just taking things too far. I mean, that's nearly one third of the entire global automotive market. And I think, to be honest, it's unlikely we're going to sell more than 60 million electric vehicles. When I say vehicles, I mean cars in 2030, because there's just too many other compelling options. Electric bicycles are getting better and better and better. Electric scooters are getting better and better. And most people, to be honest, that live in cities don't really need an electric car most of the time. And when we have autonomous cars, there'll be much less need for car ownership. Those vehicles will probably do 50 to 70 to 80,000 miles a year, meaning actual car ownership numbers and car purchases will go down drastically. So therefore, how on earth is Tesla going to sell 20 million vehicles a year when, well, the entire global automotive market will be a maximum of 60 million per year, maybe less than that by 2030. But if you actually start to look at what Tesla are doing, and based on this report today, the CATL are now building a gigafactory for Tesla in North America. And based on my report talking about Goshon High Tech building a double, multiple gigafactories in North America for Tesla, you can see that actually this master plan may be coming into fruition and may actually be possible. If we're honest about it, nobody knows if Legacy Auto currently is able to make a profit from selling EVs. As far as I know, they're not. I think they will be able to in future, but currently I don't believe they are. And I think based on Herbert Deese's comments recently over the last couple of days, he is essentially, he's admitted to the fact and he said, we cannot compete with Tesla until our new electric vehicle plant is built. And that plant won't be finished until I believe 2025. What does that mean about where Volkswagen are right now, considering they're the best place automaker in Legacy Auto? It means that, um, yeah, I don't think they're making a profit on their EVs especially seeing as they're selling them at lower prices than Tesla are selling their vehicles at, but they're manufacturing most of them in Europe, whereas Tesla is manufacturing, well, a very large percentage of their vehicles in China. So you can see how their margins would be drastically different. How will Tesla then take 20 to 30% of the entire automotive market by 2030? Well, by putting itself in position to have the battery supply. And here is where CATL comes into the picture. As I'm sure you'd know by now, if you're following Tesla closely, CATL are building a battery factory for Tesla. They've already just finished building out a pack factory, a module factory, three kilometers from Gigafactory Shanghai. Now they are building a battery Gigafactory with around 70 to 80 gigawatt hours of battery production capacity per year. As far as I can tell, that battery factory will be finished well before the end of this year, providing Tesla with the enormous amount of low-cost, affordable LFP and probably NCA and NCM chemistry batteries as well. So in addition to that factory that CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer and the lowest cost battery manufacturer, are building for Tesla in China, they've now announced they're building one in the US. This US factory will supply 80 gigawatt hours of batteries every single year, the report has said, citing people familiar with the matter, adding that this plant will eventually employ 10,000 American workers. And I've got to say, that's great news. Now, apparently CHL executives flew to Mexico and the company is considering building plants in the US and also Canada, but has concerns about labor availability and other trade issues, according to the report. CHL's new North American plant will produce nickel, manganese, cobalt, and so NMC batteries, so NCM batteries and lithium iron phosphate batteries and supply Tesla and other automakers, the report said. And of course, those batteries will be predominantly 4680 cell type size batteries. CATL said it wouldn't comment, but local media outlets said that people within the company at CATL have confirmed the rumors. Ning Fujian based CATL is the world's largest battery supplier by significant margin. And that margin actually has been increasing over the past year. South Korean market research firm SNE Research released data last month showing the company is number one for the fifth consecutive year in 2021. CATL has an installed 
battery capacity currently of 97 gigawatt hours in 2021 with a 32.6 global market share according to SNE research. So if you think about it, right, the fact that they're adding an additional 70 gigawatt hours just for Tesla this year and then potentially building out this additional 80 gigawatt hour battery factory, who knows when, maybe soon, I'm not sure, for Tesla in China. What does that say to you about the number of batteries that Tesla will have? Especially when you consider this in the context of the fact that Tesla also has other big battery suppliers, like we've talked about. This coming deal with Goshan High Tech, in addition, their BYD battery deal, in addition, their LG Chem battery supply, in addition, their Panasonic battery supply. The list goes on, right? If we have a look at the Chinese market, CATL currently own around 50% of that market. And in the market in China, things have been changing very dramatically. And I believe this is an illustration, kind of like a little guide to what's going to happen globally within the next few years. And that is the majority of electric vehicles in a few years time from now will have LFP batteries. And I believe it's going to be very, very hard for legacy automakers to compete unless they have LFP batteries based on their cost. CATL's installed battery capacity in China in 2021 was 80.5 gigawatt hours. So you can see that CATL manufactures nearly 90% of all of its batteries worldwide in China. And that gives them a tremendous cost advantage. Local media outlet Shanghai Observer reported in January that CATL's battery assembly plant in Shanghai, Linyang, had begun supplying Tesla from only a few blocks away from Tesla's factory in November of 2021. That plant, though, is an assembly plant. It's not a cell manufacturing plant. So that's two different things. This, the assembly plant, which is literally less than three kilometers away from Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai, is already supplying Tesla with those battery packs. But they do have to bring in the cells from their cell factory and then assemble the packs there. However, the idea with their new Gigafactory, their new cell Gigafactory, which is three kilometers down the road from Tesla, is that the cells will be made really close. Then they'll be moved, boarded to the module factory, the pack battery factory, and they'll be moved to Tesla's Shanghai factory in China. And of course, remember, Tesla plans to double production there by the end of next year to around 2 million vehicles annually coming from one plant, which I believe will be the most efficient and cost-effective electric vehicle plant on the face of planet Earth. So this is how Tesla will put itself in position to potentially manufacture 20 million EVs in 2030. And many of you are commenting, I've heard the comments and I've seen them saying, but Tesla doesn't have any other cars. They can't possibly sell 20 million Model Ys and Cybertrucks and Model 3s. And you're right. You're right. They can't. But there's still eight years, right? Eight years to go before we get to 2030. And like I've said many times, it is a certainty that Tesla has a Model 2. They've already designed the thing. It's already in existence in China at their design factory there. And, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that it's not going to happen because Elon Musk said whatever. He didn't say they're not building it. He said that they're just not focusing on producing it this year. There's a big difference between the two. So that vehicle will come and therefore it will provide Tesla with the ability to sell a lower cost vehicle. Obviously, they're going to fit, outfit that with LFP batteries at the lowest price they can, use all their advanced manufacturing techniques to lower the price as much as they can in order to be able to make a smaller, more affordable car, which they can still make a 30% profit from. I believe that's Tesla's plan. I believe that there's a good chance, probably a 50-50 chance, Tesla can pull off this 20 million vehicles. I'm still a bit skeptical. It's 20 million is a big, big number in 2030 as the world auto market will be shrinking. I'm not sure that's possible, but they're making the right plays in order to put themselves in position to win. Let me know what you think. Do you think Tesla can do it? 